Welcome back guys to our channel, it's Dr. Somji, where we bring you valuable information on various health topics. In this video, we'll be discussing a crucial subject that affects many individuals and tends to be undiagnosed or has a delayed diagnosis that can be potentially catastrophic. It's called melanoma. We're going to cover the symptoms, diagnosis and treatment options for melanoma, helping you understand this serious skin condition better. So, melanoma is the deadliest form of skin cancer and it develops when the pigment producing cells called melanocytes mutate and multiply rapidly. Although it can occur on any part of the body, melanoma commonly appears on the skin. Early detection is key to successful treatment, so let's dive into the symptoms you should be aware of. The most common sign of melanoma is the appearance of a new mole or change in an existing mole. Here are some warning signs to help you look out for often described as a well-known acronym called ABCDE. What's A? A is for asymmetry. If one half of the mold doesn't match the other half, or there's different types of, almost different sections of the mold. B is for border, so an irregular, blurred, or poorly defined edges. So even by the naked eye, sometimes you can see this. It's better to sometimes use a dermatoscope, but suddenly if the edges start to become a little bit wavy or a blurred edge, that normally is a, is, a, is a sign. So C is for color. Uneven coloring with shades of brown, black, white, red, or blue pigmentation. So if there's different sections, almost different colors, that's a cause for suspicion. D is for diameter. So larger than six millimeters, about the size of a pencil eraser. I would take this with a pinch of salt because if you pick up most melanomas very, very early, they're gonna be smaller than six millimeters. E for evolution. And this is the key really for individuals that have, um, have moles in many different areas and with mole mapping is any change in size, shape, color, elevation, or even any other symptoms like itching or bleeding. So if you notice any of these symptoms, it's crucial to consult with a doctor for a thorough evaluation. Early detection is really important and timely intervention can, be, can really increase your chances of successful treatment. One key point that I really want to really home in on is that if your skin type is darker, like me, it doesn't mean that you can't get melanoma. One of the most famous uh, individuals that succumbed from melanoma was Bob Marley. And in fact, he had a small melanoma underneath his toenail and he didn't think that that could be anything suspicious and he allowed it to get a lot worse. And unfortunately, we know where that ended up. Once you visit a dermatologist or, or your local GP or your general practitioner, they'll be able to conduct a comprehensive examination where they visualize the, area, the areas in question. You've got some great kit nowadays where you can just stand in front of essentially a full body screening camera that can pick up all of these lesions. And then you can do that even every six months of a year to see if there's any changes in, in its specific lesions. If there's any concern, biopsy is always really important. So I tend to biopsy most even most moles, even if they don't meet the ABCDE criteria. I just send a small shave biopsy beforehand or even at the time of removal. You remove a small sample of the lesion and then it's sent to the lab for analysis. Once the diagnosis confirms either melanoma or no melanoma, then it's about determining the stage of cancer to guide the most appropriate treatment plan. So melanoma is staged using a system called TNM, which considers factors like the tumor size, lymph node involvement, as well as metastases, which is spread to other parts of the body. So what are the treatment options? Treatment options for melanoma vary on the stage and the individual factors. So here are some common approaches. Number one is surgery. So the primary treatment for early stage melanoma involves surgically removing the cancer growth as well as surrounding healthy tissue. In some cases, a lymph node biopsy may be necessary to check for spread. Number two is immunotherapy. This treatment uses medication to help the body's immune system recognize and destroy cancer cells. Immunotherapy can be effective for even advanced stages of melanoma. Number three, for individuals with specific genetic mutations in the melanoma cells, targeted therapy drugs can be used to attack those specific abnormalities and inhibit cancer growth. Number four is radiation therapy. 
This treatment involves using high energy x-rays or other form of forms of radiation to kill the cancer cells and also prevent their growth. It's really important to remember that each case is unique and the treatment plans may vary. Your healthcare team will discuss the most suitable options based on your specific situation. What can you do to reduce the risk of getting skin cancer? Number one is stay in the shade. Number two is wear clothing that covers your arms and legs. Number three, wear a hat with a wide brim to shade your face, your head, ears and neck. Number four, wear sunglasses that wrap around and block both UVA and UVB rays. Number five, use a broad spectrum sunscreen with a sun protector factor of 30 or higher. And the bonus one is number six, always get a family member or a loved one to check areas which you cannot see. For example, your back to make sure that nothing is changing over time. If you have numerous moles on the body, it's always better to check in with one of your doctors to ensure that you can get yearly mole mapping done that can see and see any even the slightest of changes even before that they are a problem. Melanoma is a serious condition that requires prompt attention. Even days and weeks is really, really important. Remember to protect your skin with harmful UV rays, wear sunscreen, regularly perform self-examinations to detect any changes in moles or skin lesions. So one famous recent sufferer of skin cancer was actually Khloe Kardashian and she actually documented the procedure and she found what was an unusual lesion on the cheek and she had that promptly removed. Because it was detected early, the treatment options were swift and they were hopefully a lot more effective. If you like what you saw, don't forget to click the link to like and subscribe. You'll be the first to know when there's new videos.